See, this the shit I'm talking about right here. See, I still remember when Lil James, man, you feel me? He was real disturbed, man, you feel me? He was like, man, this nigga Bam running around the hood coming up to all of us hating on you, man, telling niggas not to fuck with you, not to support your shit. I was like, what? And James nigga was really ready to do something to this bitch ass nigga Bam, you feel me? See, that's why y'all had to get my nigga James from 6 9 out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? That's another reason why I hate you niggas, man. James was the realest nigga in the world, man. And y'all felt like it was cool to backdoor the homie. We, not, we don't even backdoor homies in Meadow View, first of all. Y'all started that shit on the 6 9 side when y'all killed James, nigga. A real nigga. Hey, nigga didn't. Nigga, that wasn't cool, bro. That was, that was, you didn't have to do that. That could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that nigga. That was my little homie, nigga. So, nigga, I would have paid any debt and covered anything he had been into, nigga. You, you didn't have to kill that young nigga. That nigga was all mad at you. And y'all y'all wrong for that. For real, for real. On everything. Y'all wrong for not punishing, and that's on y'all. That's y'all bad. Look how bad the hood did. Let me give y'all some game about James real quick. See, my, my little nigga James... He flamed them star niggas, man. He super flamed them star niggas. They had to come to me and ask me to call the dog off, man. You feel me? And I, and I, and I feel bad I called the dog off because you fast forward now and you got a nigga like Lab thinking he can make shot calls on uh on the Medi View area. You feel me? And G Parkway is a, a fucking ghost town now. You see what I'm talking about? Nigga never been around there. I'm going to do a documentary on that. I'm going to call all the real G Parkway niggas because you see it's a divide. They don't even know this nigga. All of a sudden, a nigga come from out of nowhere. That was from out of nowhere. Nigga doing some nowhere out of shit, nigga. And you feel me? And next thing you know, everybody funking and playing games over this, over, over trying to, for clout, nigga. For, for rap shit. So let me get to the point of this whole shit, nigga, because I'm going all over the place and shit, but I'm giving you real game, nigga. You, like I said, I told you niggas. Yeah, I been told you niggas. Anything you can go back to saying, oh, this nigga talking crazy, they come back to this day and they say that nigga, hey was correct, and here this nigga Bam is, and this is the game that he don't give you niggas, this is the shit he support, Mr. Football Coach, being around the kids, man, listen, if I catch you niggas, nigga, you street niggas, losers, really participating in that gang shit, because you know I know, because you bring that shit on my desk, you feel me, if I catch you faggot ass niggas around these goddamn kids, nigga, I'm going to slap the shit out your ass in front of them and show them you a bitch. And these don't follow niggas like this, cause they get slapped. That's nigga, it's magically magical now, nigga. Yeah. I just got back from Disneyland. I ain't seen none of you type of bitch ass niggas in it, man. You feel me? Yeah. You gotta give kids that type of environment if you want them to grow. And here's my point with this bitch nigga. You see how he all in these young little rap nigga shit? You know why? He's a predator. He's a pedo. He scours the neighborhood for these young niggas, man. I've been dealing with him for years. I'm a mentor, man. I'm a master of my crafts, man. I teach many men, and they always come around saying, Bam tried to come move in with us, we kids. Bam, bam around us, bothering us. And niggas like this, man, one rotten dead tree branch that killed a whole tree. You got to cut that bitch off, man. You feel me? So let me get to this. Facts. Nigga, the police, the feds been watching because it's games, nigga. Secondly, you post these videos we knew 10 years ago. You can't be having guns in your videos now. They own that. And here this nigga is, right? You can't be talking. X-rated showed y'all this years ago. You can't be rapping about shit that's going on in the streets. You a rat. But here this nigga is rapping about some facts. And when he say in the rap song, let me get to this. Oh, my nigga got a body now. Is you talking about that little girl? The police came and arrested y'all for, came looking for y'all for, but didn't find the strap. That mean they know y'all did that and they coming for that. Yeah, man, you know, y'all slipped for KY. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, KY. KY was from the hood for sure, man. He was a young man. And and, and I'm going to get to that. So we going to find out who killed KY and sent you niggas on this motherfucking mission. But you didn't have to come to the motherfucking internet and rap about the shit. Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a point out a whole bunch of shit. They ain't sent me a police surprise yet, nigga. The media and the news, they know we know you watching my ass, nigga. Yeah, you know I'm hot as shit. You know a nigga is really, you know what I'm saying, doing top rate journalism. I done figured all this shit out, man. Yeah. But let's get to this. Nah, we're gonna get to that later. That's gonna be another show. Stay tuning in, man. We're gonna get to 
You know what I'm saying? Who killed KY and why? You feel me? Because... A little nigga slid, but here Bam is in the video with these niggas, and this is my point. This 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 they old football coach. So who you think brought them to this life now? So that's over with, cause they all in jail. We all nigga, the whole hood in jail now, nigga, cause of these niggas. And more arrests are coming, cause guess what? It was some other kids killed. I don't think these niggas hit a target yet. And listen, B O E Moo Moo, right? Hey, I don't know if he did it. You know, had something to do with KY, or he just talking shit about it. But that's why these motherfucking niggas is running through motherfucking the five, or what you, we call secret circle. Trying to hit niggas and shit, you feel me? Yeah, uh-huh. It's been documented. But here this nigga is, and let me tell you how they do shit. Now, let me give you the game. Here goes the jewels of this shit, because they're not telling you. See me, I'm like a... I'm I'm a law library man, you feel me? I'm a nigga who likes to understand the law and shit, you feel me? I think black people need to study law more, become more attorneys, judges, DAs, you know, anything in law enforcement, because they're using it against us and you don't know, you, we don't understand how it works or anything. So here BAM is with an assault rifle. So that's automatically going to bring in the feds. Here BAM is... With a Woodstock gun, and with a Woodstock gun, man, it really sucks in your 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 oils from your body. And what police is doing now, they're not just checking the fingerprints, you idiots. They running that bitch for DNA. So let's not hope the gun Bam got caught with is the one in the video. But let's not act like this nigga, the football fucking coach, I told you niggas, running around here with guns really would bad motherfucking influence for black children only man a white people would never let a motherfucker like this around on dope he on dope look at this motherfucker though and this nigga in jail now he was on run the whole time nigga didn't tell nobody he a football coach all this shit he on the run y'all see how dumb y'all are and y'all gonna defend this shit and not understand Niggas like him, let me get to my point. Why he's always involved. He forces himself on everybody who grew up in Malibu. If you can't make it out the hood unless you can get past obstacles like this fucking boy. You know what I'm talking about? Because they all come looking for you. Oh, you went to one of the schools in the area. You grew up around here. He either introducing himself at, when you're young or he trying to call and be like, hey, bro, you got to nigga. These niggas think they extorting y'all. These niggas making y'all check in and doing all of that stuff, bro. I swear to God. They're going to use them funerals <laughs> and them hood days to extort your ass, bro. You got to fuck with us or else. You got to include us. Bro, this something else, bro. And not only that, when they when you bring that gang shit in, bro, now everybody going to get caught up with a conspiracy. They running through all these niggas' phones. Yeah, this nigga got arrested in, in a murder investigation with a chopper. And these niggas dissing each other on videos online. If you gangster, you're not supposed to be here, bro. You ain't supposed to be online, bro. When did y'all get comfortable being online, leaving a presence online, bro? Like they not going to subpoena everything that you ever talked about and everybody you talked to and they shit too. They just sitting there getting fat now on computers like gang member, gang member, gang shit going on. Oh, man. Listen, this is the federal government's capital in Sacramento. They don't give a fuck about Hollywood. They don't give a fuck about y'all. Ain't no amount of money finna come through and change these motherfuckers' opinion about anything going on. They run all the fucking California. Nigga, I'm about to do a documentary on how important Sacramento's criminal... What do you call that? Um, criminal justice system is more advanced than most of the world, bruh. They got all the cutting edge technology here to prosecute y'all. And all they got to do is look out their front door and practice on you dumb motherfuckers. Bruh, the streets is dead. I'm telling you now, look at this fuck nigga, y'all. This shit terrible. Long time ago, they was arresting niggas for just convicted felon with a chopper? 
you going to jail. What made this nigga jump off the deep end and get on a video and let these niggas get on a video and did not explain nothing to these motherfuckers like, this going to bring the motherfucking police down on all y'all. Yeah, you really doing this for views and the shit he talking about in the video. And the video editor is really going to the niggas that he talking about. Listen, y'all fighting to own y'all own community. Y'all need to stop it. People ain't happy that y'all took Moo Moo's son. Rest in peace, Moo Moo's son. You feel me? Rest in peace, Moo Moo. You feel me? He took his son and got him doing y'all hits for y'all, bro. Got that little nigga out here, bad nobody, and y'all got him with choppers on him, shooting up shit. And the nigga keep missing hitting the wrong motherfucker. But... Y'all didn't run to the internet and say y'all got a body on something. This why y'all suckers. Y'all ain't hit nothing y'all wanted yet. All innocent motherfuckers. You slid through the five trying to look for Moo Moo because that's where he take all his pictures and show up at. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, y'all didn't stalk the nigga out hawking down. And it's hella easy to catch a nigga in the motherfucking CB circle, man. Because y'all scared of shit. Y'all just caught a nigga on the motherfucking street and aired him out. Nigga, man, like, hey, man, it ain't no evidence of this man gangbanging, man. He had just graduated, man. This is this is, this is silly. And young man, and I understand y'all angry, you know. The little niggas did do some gangster shit. You feel me? But, bam, this is a weird nigga. Who could have helped them avoid all this shit? If you was around good men, bro, decent motherfuckers, decent human beings, bro, something in their heart gonna stop you and shit. I'm not gonna lie, I got a story about some real meta view nigga shit. That nigga, some nigga, I swear, I was gonna hop out on the, in the alley and catch this nigga. It was like God is sending to me. You feel me? But I swear, bro, the homies was in the car, they didn't even have to say nothing to each other. I said, oh, here this nigga go, right here, man. We, uh, he smoked. Nigga, you feel me? I try to bounce out the car, nigga, and smoke him real quick. Man, I just feel hands grab me, pull me back in the truck, nigga. The truck start up, nigga, and they drive me all the way home, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Like, real much, I appreciate them for that, because we probably still be in this motherfucking jail house. You know what I'm talking about? That's what type of motherfuckers you need around you. Not motherfuckers that's going to have you do something dumb for clout. Dumb so they can brag about it. Dumb so they can be like, I got a little pit bull on the train. Ah, ah, get me out. Nigga, these niggas, these older niggas is going to get y'all younger niggas to do some shit they ain't about. You know what I'm talking about? And then the whole time they're going to be like, y'all enemies is who they be around. Man, I'm going to quit giving y'all game, man. I'm trying to speed you up, not slow you down, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this shit all finna come out, man. Give me my police surprise one time, man. Check this out, man. Hit that like button, man, and I might talk and I stop talking. Find bigger shit to talk about. <laughs> Think about that. Y'all motherfuckers, listen. You know what's crazy? Crazy is when you do the same thing and expect different results. So quit hating on my ass. <laughs> You want to talk bullshit. It's a whole lot more niggas y'all supporting that be bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I swear, support me. I, I'm a bully. I, hey, I'm a bully cat cool or something, nigga. You ain't got to see me again. Yeah, bitch, get out of the way down there, bitch. Look at this nigga, man. We got this gun, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure the DA going to see this shit and be like, nah, nigga, you're not getting out of this talking. He going to say, oh, he going to tell. The car ain't mine. Nigga, they be really doing that. that. Listen, I fuck with niggas. They gonna say the car ain't yours. So whoever car that registered to, they gonna kick in your door and say the chopper. Bruh said the chopper yours, technically. 